Hey darlings, welcome to Royal Appleberry. I am Kenny the Messy Silver for those of you who do not know me. And for those who do know me, thank you for tuning in again. I really appreciate you being here as always. So what are we doing today? We're doing a custom order. Um, her colors are forest green, sea green, white. And she wants it in the pot swirl. And she let me pick the fragrance. And I am a big fan of Aztec's tea. Um white tea and cucumber it smells fantastic i've used it twice before so i thought it would be fitting with this color scheme so i made some fresh live water and i use uh epic stargazers that's nothing but sugar on top uh sugar and salt i use their um mulberry silk um in my live water i love it i am switching over from tassa silk to mulberry silk because that stuff it's fantastic it dissolves immediately it's not as yellow as my tussa and i do love my tussa well i will say this okay i'm gonna see how it feels i'm pretty sure it feels great in your soap but um i just like the way it performs when you're putting it in your lye and put your lye with it so i'm gonna go ahead and buzz this up <laughs> okay we just want to get that to emulsification and then i will stop pouring it all over the table <laughs> so I'm gonna pour some off and I'm soaping at about a hundred degrees I normally soap room temperature but since I made new lye and fresh oils then I figured let's get some soaping going on so clean up this mess and then I will add my TD and yeah I don't want this to be like a heavy color rock swirl. I want the white to snap the most. Oh, and the uh, Seafoam Mica is from Homemade Soap Making Supply. She's one of our soapy sisters over at um, How to Make Soap. And I'm using <laughs> Nurture um, Green Oxide, which is time for some more. And this container is really faded. I also dumped in some, I keep showing you labels, they're not there. Some Snowflake Mica from Nurture's as well into the oxide to give it a little bit of a shimmer let's see how this goes i'm just gonna pop some dry td in there just because i want it whiter and I haven't soaked at a high temp in so long. I don't know if the TD with water, if I keep adding it, will cause um, uh, glycerin rivers. So I'm going to do it this way. Okay, that's much better. to an aqua or the sea, sea green. my fragrance mixed in pretty well I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the sides of this down and then I will go with my dark green first and light green on top of that and then we'll pour it into the mold so I'm gonna try to stick with a traditional in the pot which I normally <laughs> I hardly ever ever do okay um yeah I'll save a little bit of that I don't think I want any of that green for the top but we'll see if I do it'll be very little Ready? so 
apart from up high. There. Get out of you guys' face. There. I'm gonna pour some inside the green. And then the rest there. Yeah, these are really pretty colors. I like her color combination. I really do. So I think I'm going to save just that much for the top of the soap. And then, yeah, this is going to be gorgeous. I can already feel. Save about that much. But then again, do I need to save any for the top? Well, we'll see. You know, I'm just gonna go a little less green for the top. Just kind of want it to be like an afterthought. All right, so now I'm gonna take my spatula and do that. And then we'll get it in the mold. Yeah, I think I should go around one more time, just in case. There we go. I feel comfortable now, guys. So, bring in my oldie but goodie, my silicone mold. Too lazy to wash my other one. All right, so now I'm gonna go in like that and do a little zigzaggy. Oh, this is gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty. You picked some good colors, Stephanie. Okay, yes. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. Man, I can see it already. So I'm gonna give that a shoogly. Oh, and that smells so good. Yes, this fragrance matches this look very perfectly. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think, think, think. Hmm. I was gonna dump the rest of the color in this bowl, but no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to pour the rest of that on top. And I did a water discount. Um, a bigger water discount than I normally do. So we're about... Um, about... See, I would say about a 40%. Normally I'm too chicken to do anything more than that. But um, we'll just see how it's behaving nicely. I can't really complain. Oh, this is gorge. Oh, I love it, girl. I love it. Love these colors. I do, I do, I do. I'm going to have to make that again. That's beautiful. And I just feel like it's going to turn out really, really nice. So, I'm going to finish scraping this bowl. Because I don't want to bore you guys to tears. And then, um, we'll get the rest on. Alright, I was going to bring you guys back after I scraped out my cups. But, I figured some of you may want to see this. So, I brought you back. So, and boy, when you do a water discount, um, your soaps do get a bit shorter because I'm like, why is the soap so short? <laughs> but that's okay. It'll speed up the curing process too. Because normally, I'm like, you guys know how I do. I'm like, going over this soap a thousand times trying to get it all to fit in a mold. But no need for that today. Alrighty, I think she is ready to be textured. So, I'm not going to do a crazy amount because I do like what I see as far as the swirl pattern going on here. So, well, maybe I will because I don't know. Yeah, I think I was just stuck to the back of my spoon. There's really no real reason for me to save any. Um, I thought I was going to bring the other side up too, but I don't think I want to do too much to it. I'm just going to do that and then clean up the side and then decorate that side because it is very pretty. So, 
got a piece of napkin. I got candle stuff all over the place. Oh, and also, guys, so um, once you get so far with YouTube, they'll offer you like um, merch if you want to start doing merchandise. And it's normally t-shirts and mugs and things like that. And I have been thinking for the longest about doing t-shirts. And I was like, I don't know. You know, everybody does t-shirts. And then I really just didn't have a solid design of what I wanted it to be or say. So I decided I'm not going to do t-shirts, but um, since I do have a candle line, for those of you who know, and for those of you who don't know, if you're new to my channel, I do sell candles. Now, I absolutely love, love making candles. I really, really do. Never thought that I would, but I do love making them so much. So um, we are going to do um, merchandise candles uh, for Royal Appleberry. That's what I'm going to do. So um, we're going to have some candles called uh, I'm Fookin' Awesome. <laughs> because I'm with the I'm in the sack. So uh, that will be Royal Appleberry Smirch. I said I wasn't gonna do this. I lied. <laughs> um. And I might add some other Royal Appleberry themed stuff, but I'm Fookin' Awesome is definitely going to be it. So if you're interested in one of those candles, be sure to head over to uh, my website, um, Royal Appleberry. You can find the description box below. Um, if you are subscribed, you are in the sack. What is the sack for those of you who don't know? The sack is my stinking awesome crew. That's what I call my subscribers because you guys are just that. So be sure to uh, get yourself a sack candle. And Chris, you get a candle for free. Because she is the one <laughs> who came up with the name Sack. So, um, you definitely get one for free. So, um, I'll be contacting you and getting your information. All right, let me stop. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then we are going to put some glitter on the top. Yes, we are. So, I kind of want to hold on one sec, guys. Mm, no, that's totally the wrong color. I was going to put these on here, but not the right cooler. But I do think that I'm going to put some oh, some salt. I kind of almost want to do... No. I was going to do pink Himalayan, but she didn't say she wanted pink in the salt. Kenny, you can't be doing what you want now. So, <laughs> I'm just going to put some uh, white salt, sea salt down the side because I just love the look of that. I really do. And then I'm going to give this baby a go with the glitter. I really am. I just have to figure out which ones I want to use. Now, I was thinking this emerald green, that would be nice because it has a very nice color, but I kind of want to do the gold. I just don't know. I thought that I had this all figured out, but <laughs> you guys know I never have stuff figured out. I just wing it. I'm a winging it kind of girl. So, Moonbeam? Hmm. I think I want to go with the Moonbeam because I feel like if I put the gold, then it's going to start to look um, kind of St. Patrick type-ish. You know what I mean? So... Ooh, yes yes and I feel like I'm going to put some green on here too that is gorgeous yeah let me stop with that and then do just a tad bit of green I think I want to use no not Kelly Ooh, the Sassions. I think I'm going yeah I'm gonna do a little bit of the emerald just so it can make me feel better about myself because <laughs> I keep wanting to so why not to do it Okay. Yeah, just a tad. Just a, a dab of do ya. Alright, that's really pretty. I'm going to clean all that glitter up. And then I'll give you guys a close up. And then you can stick around. Because we'll be cutting the soap right after. I think it's time to throw this little towel in trash. <laughs> I got turmeric stains all over it. And uh, I've washed so much with it. It's starting to get quite holy. Yes, I do like this a lot. Mm. 
<laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me throwing salt all over the floor. I keep uh, old cardboard boxes under where I stand because, you know, my floors are concrete and standing so long, it starts to make your legs hurt. But if you take some old boxes, and I, I was thinking to get those rubber mats, but I don't want to ruin them because I'm called Kenny the Messy Soaper, okay? So <laughs> I know if I got those mats, I would totally ruin them, and I just don't want to do that. So I just take old cardboard boxes from shipments that I get in, and then I'll break them down and stand on them until they go super flat, toss them, and then I'm upcycling. <laughs> I make my stuff serve a purpose, even my packaging. So there you have it. That's a close-up of Tiffany soap. This is beauteous. I like it so much. Um, I hope she likes it too. It's still kind of, kind of, kind of loose. So we're going to leave that be until um, tomorrow for me. Or a couple of days for me. And it'll be next for you. See you over there. Welcome back to the cutting of this glorious, glorious soap. I just love the swirls on this soap. I love the color on this soap. I love this soap. <laughs> It smells so very good. So it's been in the mold for four, five, five days. And when I use my silicone mold, I know that this, I noticed that this one is a little bit more tacky uh, than if I had used my acrylic mold. So it's just a wee bit tacky, nothing crazy though. I'm not gonna cut any samples because the whole thing is going to her. It's gonna be really nice on the inside. Yep, it is. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Yeah, that's really pretty. This soap is still very soft though. I will say that. I have noticed a difference between my silicone and my um, acrylic mold as far as the hardness of my soap. But I know it'll dry out pretty quickly because it's quite dry in my soap studio. I think the fact that it's been like, well today it's actually 44 degrees, but yesterday it was four degrees. And it's going to drop back down to 18 degrees tomorrow and down and down and down. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I love the colors on this. Tiffany, you did a good job. These are very, very pretty color combinations. And this over starting to dry out as I'm cutting it. I can feel it. It's not as tacky as it was. I got some soap color uh, ideas in my mind. There's going to be lots of pinks coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like spring. I'm feeling like getting pinks and lavenders and pastels back in order. It is time to help this winter stuff. It is definitely time for some pretty. Pretty, pretty bright pastel pink colors. So that is what I'm going to do after I am done with this soap. Make a pink soap. Did you guys see that next week? I think, yeah. I haven't made any soaps after this one, so you'll see that one next week. This one is fun, 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 and it smells, I just love this fragrance. I'm a huge, huge fan of this fragrance. Like I said, this is not my first time using it. This is my third time using it. That's how much I like it. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> wasn't even showing you guys the top of the soap. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. It looks like it smells fresh, and it, it does. Although it's a floral, it's a floral freshness. There's something really nice about it. This side is just beauteous. And I did not take pictures for Instagram, darn it. 
but I will <laughs> get cut uh, a group of cut photos for Instagram. My mind is just like all over the place. I'm trying to get it back in order <laughs> of uh, the soap order of things. And for those of you who don't know, um, I now have a second ca uh, company called The Paper Moon Chandlerie. And you can find that over at my Royal Apple Berry website. So if you are into candles, we have wonderful 100% vegan candles over there. Vegan soy candles. Um, and they do smell fine and fantastic. And they're a lot of fun. So even if you just want to go over and read some of the titles and descriptions, they're a lot of fun. So yeah, um, you can find the link to that in the description box below. Also, yes, I always forget to tell people this, and I know a lot of people don't notice it because they email me and say, hey, where are you putting soaps in your store? <laughs> I'm like, I got tons of soap in my store. What are you talking about, crazy person? But um, if you look at the very bottom of my screen, um, there's number pages. So what you see is just like a featured soap or candle. And if you actually click on all products and scroll through the numbers, you'll see everything that I made. Because I noticed too, a lot of people buy things that are on the first page, but there are plenty of pages. So be sure to look through those. <laughs> and that way you'll see all of my soaps and candles there. Alrighty, moving along. I am dreading washing my hair, but I have to. Just being at the hospital and all of this stuff. Just not have time had time to wash it, but we're gonna wash this hair. Yes, we are. Ooh, and if you know anything about natural black girl hair, <laughs> honey, let me tell you. That's like a four-hour ordeal. So that's why I dread wash day, but gotta do it. Alrighty, so this is the last piece. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Appreciate all that you do for Real Appleberry. If you like this salt, be sure to give a thumbs up. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. And it shows that you like what we do over here and you want to see more. Be sure to hit the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I post a new video. And also subscribe if you haven't already to join our sack. What is our sack? It's our stinking awesome crew. Um, my subscribers are just that, stinking awesome, so yes and also you can check out our merch uh on royal appleberry as well which is our candles i decided not to do t-shirts i think i said that in this video i can't remember <laughs> but yeah we got some uh uh fucking awesome candles over at royal appleberry as well all right guys love hugs and kisses be awesome amazing everything you do i'll see you all in the next making video bye